Hi, it's Dana Drunford, also known as the Nuclear Proctologist. Dot org. I just wanted to put out a quick update. I'm really sick. This is real sickness. Uh, five days ago I started, and Zoe has the same afflictions. I had two teeth fall out last night, so I might slur some words. And they don't have cavities, by the way. Um, first three days, I had to shift my body every 15 seconds. That was relentless for three days. Every 15 seconds. No sleep, nothing to eat. Couldn't get out of bed if I wanted to. And that hasn't really changed a lot. Outside of now, I can actually say a few words like I'm doing tonight. And I took this opportunity to make a short video so everybody can have some context of what was going on here with me. I was supposed to go down and do a course for a computer. And right now I've lost in the last five days around 10 to 12, 14 pounds. And uh, day four to sweats. Now Zoe won't eat. Uh, Zoe, I chop the food up in just microscopic pieces and just take one little piece and put it in her mouth and she'll spit it out. Now I've had my dog for 15 years. I know my dog. And my dog is not worried about me per se because she's worried about me, but she's not responding because she's worried about me. She's not responding because she's also has the same issue, I think, exact same issues. I've never seen that in her before. And this has been a hell. This has been a hellish, unbelievable hellish. Uh, you can imagine, I got four more teeth are ready to fall out. And uh, I took really good care of my teeth. There's no cavities. And this was after coming back from Victoria Law Court, where the judge has made a ruling because the University of Victoria and Wood's whole involvement that they were scientists and I wasn't. Therefore, bananas and potato chips and walking in the sunshine were the same as nuclear weapons. And so that's the motive for the reason I'm in the court. And the context of it was in a one-hour video and they said we can't enter the video, we can only enter an eight second sound bite. And the judge signed off on that. And the last four times I went to court, I told them, and they told me repeatedly because I cannot attain a lawyer after trying 16 times. 16 different lawyers. We've talked to more than that, but 16 out there would said no. And they still didn't supply a lawyer. And they assert now that potato chips and bananas are terrorist weapons. I come home after a couple of days and now I'm so sick. It's unbelievable. It's unimaginable. And I don't know how to take care of myself. And I'm afraid I might be contagious. And I don't want anybody, my friends or families, to, to go through what I'm going through. And I can't let them in here. And so I'm going to let it go with that. Because i got to get back in that bed. It's, but West Coast was hit by 220 million atoms per liter. My boy, I'm 129. You know, say in that study, there was around 31 million natural or atoms already in the environment, is what they were claiming. These were natural ones that existed long before the human experience. They're not the same as the ones that are created through the chain reaction. The iodine-129 from a chain reaction is a completely different animal than the 129 created by nature. And But that's the game. That's how they lie to you and manipulate you. But nevertheless, it shows a transporter to Canada. Right? We can see why they wanted to take me down so bad because they knew this was coming out and this would lend credence to all the work we had done. That's why he knocked down 300 of my presentations and had me arrested. It's because he knew this was going to start rolling out. And thank goodness that stuff is all over the internet. 
but I'll let you go with that. Uh, I do need help. I don't want to spend the money we got for the courses. And so if anybody can donate, you can donate at PayPal, type in Dana Durnford at hotmail.com. Or you can go to PayPal, or I'm sorry, over to the nuclear proctologist dot org and you can donate with your credit cards these are very safe ways to donate these are very credible companies that we're dealing with hugs for everybody and i don't know when i'll update you again but if i get a break in the weather i probably will night night folks thank you for your support